What's going on, guys? Uh, so, it's been a little over a year with the Asteroid 50's uh, wireless space station and all that not connecting properly. Uh, if you noticed, I'm not using the headset anymore. It still works. I've just upgraded my streaming devices a little bit and got a better microphone. Still prefer the headphones. That's why I made that video to begin with, because they're that good of a headphones. Um, <clears throat> but in the last year, some things have changed. Um, especially with um, Astro. Thank you. Um, on their website, they have removed the download for the base station. And uh, in the video, I say Play Store. It is the Microsoft Store. And I truly apologize to that. I have been as active as I could, <coughs> as active as I could in the comments in regards to that, um, I've even had to go through and do some Google Translates with everybody on how to do this. Um, for the years of you that don't have a computer, there's there's nothing I can do about that. You need a computer. Mac guys, girls, sorry, I don't have a Mac to work on. But I have gone through and replied to damn near every single comment I think I can. And there's people still replying to my replies to this day. Is that your knitting needle? It's not what you and I am so grateful that a lot of you reached out and have thanked this. And especially for some of the people that have subscribed to the video or to my channel solely on this video. I mean, hell, that's awesome. But enough with the mushy ushy bullshit. Let's get to what we're here for and a possible updated fix. So in the description of the original video, which will be in this one, is these files here. I have given the bootloader file that it, I keep replying in the comments about. I didn't mention it in the video. Um, I should have. I tried making it quick. Um, this is the, uh, the, the files for the Astros version, not Microsoft's. That's from my own personal downloads. Took me a while to find that one. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys how to use the bootloader file. It's something I didn't explain in the video and I think it needs to be explained here. So once you download the bootloader file, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys right now by going through my own link. Look at that, I shaved. Um, so it's gonna bring up to this file here. We're gonna download it. It's gonna stay here, it's the .awf file, right? We'll go ahead and minimize this. Uh, let me go put that, I'll drag and drop that into the desktop right quick, hold on. Put it right here, boom, boom, and we'll bring up the Astro Command Center. <clears throat> now, to do a manual update with the bootloader file, right? We go to Upweight Update Firmware manually, right? You just gotta drag and drop this in there like that and hit open. I won't do it right now. I don't want it to mess up my headset. I doubt it will, but I got it set properly and it really sets everything up. But that's all you gotta do guys. That's the bootloader style, right? And then run your update processes. And hopefully from that, it saves you guys a lot of trouble. I'm gonna put this video at the end with all the links, all that down there. Um, I've also, just like the rest of you, have been waiting an eternity for Astro to respond. I made a new comment with them, sending them that previous video and all the help that it has done in hopes that it will assist in some way, shape, or form. Anyway, I'm going to edit this up, shrink it down as short as possible, make it quick, simple for you guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.